What's going on, Recovery Fam? It's Aaron here again. Um, just checking in with you guys. I know this video is long overdue. I did try and make a video a few days ago. I played it back like I always do. I watch it before I upload it. And the audio was like making alien sounds and all sorts of crazy sounds. So that didn't go up. And I just kind of got cut up, to be honest, these last few days um, with a lot of stuff behind the scenes on this, as you guys, I'm sure, have already heard about. Um, and just stuff in my own life, you know, just dealing with stuff mentally and just trying to move forward, you know. I'm just kind of at that point now where it's like I, at least I hope, things are trying to balance out and that's a hard stage because it's so up and down, up and down. You know, just this morning I was down. It was a really down morning and now I'm feeling okay. Um, you know, I don't know. The mind is a crazy thing, but... You know, I'm tired. I really don't like coming on here and addressing things. I feel like that's all I've been doing. Um, and we're going to get away from that. I'm telling you right now, we're going to get away from that. Um, but these situations or this situation, I do kind of have to quickly address. Um, obviously, I'm pretty sure all of you already know that CD Recovery or Sierra has uh, respectfully chosen to step away from the recovery family in general. Um not as friends, you know, we're, we're always going to be cool and friends and whatever, but just as being involved and, you know, having to tailor her content around, you know, so it doesn't offend anybody, you know, that once things start becoming like that, it's definitely best to step away. Like if you're at that, if you're at a point where you have to start not saying exactly what you want to, that's what these videos are for, you know, for us to come on here and vent, you know, because it was probably the only place that we have to do so. Um, once that starts getting interfered with, like it was for her, it's definitely time to step away. So I totally respect her decision. I appreciate everything that she's done to help us out. Um, because she really has, you know, like I always say, CD is so passionate. Sierra is so passionate. Um, in that show, you know, she's the one that started the Facebook group. She's the one that really got it, you know, kickstarted, got it going. Um, and not just that, you know, a bunch of other things. Um, you know, she, with that passion though, with the situation that happened with, you know what I mean? The situation, it just messed a lot of things up. You know what I mean? It really did. I tried my hardest to not necessarily ignore it, but not give it like the time of day, not talk about it every single post because I didn't want the message of what the recovery family is trying to do to get misconstrued. Um, you know what I mean? I want this to not get too far away from just, you know, helping people. Um, I knew getting into this, I knew once it started to kind of pick up just a little bit, you know what I mean? That it was, that I was going to have to deal with something, you know, that there would be some sort of drama, that there would be some sort of situations. So I kind of prepared myself for that, you know, and earlier videos, I wasn't prepared for that. You know, you can see that I was not prepared for either online criticism or things not going right or, you know, somebody betraying you, you know, I think I just got kind of used to it in a way. Um, you know, I, I got into the mindset of just, okay, this is my message. This is what I came here to do. This is what I'm going to do. I don't care what anybody else says. I don't care what anybody else does. It, that does get really hard, though, once you're directly involved in a situation, um, you know, it, information about you was, was shared or, you know, whatever, and then people act like it never even happened, you know, that is very annoying. That is hard to deal with. I think um, that really got on Sierra's nerves, um, and I can't blame her. You know, I really don't blame her. Um, it's just me personally. I'm not going to be that guy that comes out and says this person's a fake this is everything this person's done you know I just don't want to stoop to that level per se but more so than that it's not even that it's just I don't want our message to get interfered with by drama you know what I mean I'm just not going to I have too clear of a of a direction that I want this to go um that I can I, I'm just it, it's taken a lot of pride to suck up to not call this person out to not call every bluff about this person um but that's not what i'm here for that's not what i came here for 
obviously this person has things they really need to figure out if they think what they did was okay. Um, you know, the, the recovery family Facebook group idea has been basically stolen. Um, and it has blatantly, I mean, it's been blatantly stolen. Part of me is like, Hey, you know, that, that was my idea. That was our idea, you know, da, 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 da. But then the other part of me is like, well, if I put this selfish pride really aside and think of it as it's just more people getting help, you know, I kind of have to be okay with it and I can't control anything that happens on the internet. You know what I mean? And I'll be damned if I'm going to let that situation interfere with what I'm doing on here, what I've already started, you know what I mean, what we've already started, um, you know, I'm not, I can't let that situation, this person starting their own thing, interfere with my thing, or our thing, you know, that's, I, you know, that's where it either makes or breaks you, I think, you know, is dealing with situations like these, um, and just coming out of them, you know, um, but I get it, you know, it's, it's hard, it's extremely hard, um, to just suck up your pride and move on from it, um, you know what I mean, and that's kind of just what happened, you know, that, that situation became a little bit overwhelming for, for CD, for Sierra, and I totally respect her decision of getting away from it, um, are we gonna miss her, hell yeah, we're gonna miss her, um, are we still cool personally? Yes, me and Sierra are still 100% cool. Um, we have emailed back and forth, texted a little bit, um, and it's all good. You know what I mean? It's it's all love. I hope that she gets back to where, you know, to the direction that she wants her channel to go, and I hope that we can continue to do what we're doing with ours. Um, and just on a side note, we don't not everything has to be politically correct, you know, here or on the Facebook group. You can say things that, you know, ruffles feathers or say the truth, you know what I mean? The whole idea of what I'm doing here is that it's truthful, is that it's 100% honest. That's what's going to keep people around, that's what's going to grow the what we have here. So let's keep it honest, no matter if it's bad, whatever you know we need to we need to keep it honest here that's one thing i can definitely say i've always done i've always kept it 1000 percent honest on here you know i've never got on here and took somebody else's idea took it as my own um you know said that i wasn't using and was i've always been completely honest and i think that's why I, you know we're still moving so anyways, yeah, that, that's kind of my side point. Let's keep it honest. Let's keep it real. You know what I mean? Let's just keep it real. Honestly, it's not. It's so much easier to keep it real than it is to, to you know, not. And that's about it. So now that we got that kind of cleared up, out of the water, yes, we're still cool. And honestly, I don't even really have that much of a problem with the, the other party. You know what I mean? I'm not going to, I'm not even, you already probably know the name. I'm not going to say the name because that's, you know, I'd almost be doing that side a favor by doing that. Um, but it's like, I don't even have problems with, with what they're doing with them. It's, it's all love with me. You know, I came on here to speak my truth, to speak my heart, to hopefully connect with some people and maybe help a person or two. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're going to keep doing. Um, if somebody else wants to create their own thing, or, you know, start up, I don't want to say create their own thing, but start up their own thing, whatever, you know, I guess that's more people being helped, I can't really be mad at that, um, you know, and I wish everybody well, you know, I, I wish everybody the best, I don't wish ill things upon anybody, it's all love, it's still recovery fam all day, um, and that's it, it's recovery fam all day, don't forget that, um, uh, that's it, you guys. I just I wanted to address that and just get it out of the way. And from here on out, I want to be not addressing things so much. I think I'm just going to start letting things go completely that don't have to do with our agenda and what we're trying to push, which is recovery and support and truth, you know? So that's it. I'm out, you guys. Recovery fam all day. 
I'm going to be back on the Facebook group pretty much right now, right after I upload this. Much love. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I cannot thank you guys enough. I mean, we faced adversity. We, we will continue to face adversity, I'm pretty sure, just because of the subject matter. And we will continue to prevail. That's all I have to say. Much love, you guys. Recovery Pam all day. I'm out.